You are banned any from church today. And the food is ready. Ah, also. I'm banished. Ah, uh, but I didn't see you in church today. What happened? I went for a club meeting. Club meeting on a Sunday morning. I'm famished. Where's your dad? He's inside. Food is almost ready. Come on. Like more than like butter. The opposite. <laughs> anyway, this meat is it? He goat or she goat? He she goat. It's all goat. <laughs> he she. He she. Hmm? <laughs> Uh, yeah. No, 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 no. I'm at Club Nine. Club Nine. Okay, you know what? I'll be with you in the GP, okay? <laughs> See, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm waiting. Club Nine, I'll be with you. <laughs> oh, my guy is in love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. I have not seen you talk about any woman like this before. So tell me, who is the lucky girl? You can see I've been ranting up and down about this girl since <laughs> Look, this is no other person than Rookie. Ah, uh, choir mistress. Rookie? Oh, yes. The choir leader? Yes, now. My guy, talk about that thing. Which one be Rookie? That girl not going to even reason you. She not going to even look at you. See, what kind of talk is I beg you, talk about that thing. Which one be looking? No, no, so you don't believe that uh, I can I can land to such a fish. Look at this one. Okay, let me ask you. Are you born again? No. Are you in the choir? No. You shall be sing? No. I beg. See, that girl will be yours. Think. Oh, come on, get You better wake up from this your dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but shut, shut, just shut up your mouth, yeah. I, I don't even like the talk that is even coming out of your mouth. They are, they are supposed to be encouraging me. I'm here telling you what is really hot in my mind that I want to I want to make this woman my wife. Yeah, here telling me that uh, it is not possible. It is not possible. It is not possible. Is that why you are shouting? Yeah, why would I shout now? Ah, uh, that's no go follow you. Play I beg, I beg, hold on, play, I beg. I don't like that kind of play. <laughs> I'm telling okay. you that I want to make this woman my wife. Okay, fine. I don't tell you. Rookie is not your spec. I want to make her. My wife. <laughs> anyway, mm, you know what? I like your faith. Hmm? Hey, Larry, let me tell you something. Is it not this same Bible where that this God that says that uh, <laughs> if you have uh, if you have faith like um, small as small stacy, you will be able to move mountain. My brother, I will move this mountain. Jerry, my brother. Now you don't want Bible because of woman. I will move this mountain. Move up. I will move it. Move up. I can move it. Yes, Father. Ah, you're reading a novel? 
Have you prayed this morning? Um, I'll uh, see. Just let it. God bless you for the prayer. Okay? Good morning. What a soul lifting song. I'm <laughs> no, just realizing. Where's your mom? She left for shop already. Already? Yes. Oh, no, man. She couldn't even wait for me to leave first. It's okay. I can help you. No. Rehearse your song. No, Dad, let me help you. No. <laughs> yes, I insist. I'll be going to the shop to join mom's. Don't you have a good day? Please, can I have recharge card? Okay, how much? Uh, 5,000 naira. I want recharge card 5,000. Yes. Sis, you don't seem to recognize me. Are, are you not rookie? The yes. sister with the angelic voice at the church choir? Ah, you attend our church? Oh, yes. Ah, oh, amazing. Your brother? Uh, Jerry, but you can call me JJ for short. Ah, brother Jerry. Yeah. Ah, nice to meet you. Thank you very much. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. 5,000. Yeah, thank you. What is that? Oh, yes. Uh, Hope you are going to that's... join my department. <laughs> no problem. Do you sing well? Uh, I try. Ah, uh, that would be nice. You can join if I don't. You don't join uh, the courage. Is it you okay can be an usher. I get your number. I said, you know, I have to arrange a shop now. Customers will soon start coming. I just opened. You see now, the customers will soon start coming. So, so, so I'll make sure time. you ahead some other time. You can be a, you know, an usher or something. Some other time, sir. Thank you very much. Let's not forget. Yeah. I have contracted my engineer to start the building of that my plaza. Mm. You know, man need to invest. Right. Yeah. That's very important. Mm. Yes. Uh, but you see, right now, my own project and investment is on Rookie. Come on, Jerry. Forget about this love this girl, love this, love that. There's a saying that says 
can make me when the sun still shine. Yeah, right. You don't know tomorrow you need to invest your money, man. Now you have the money. You are also still right, my friend. But you see, I'm telling you the same thing that it is this girl that is my current project. Afterwards, I will have time for other investment. And you see, I had to call you on the phone to tell you about this girl. So you would uh, know how far I have gone, if you know what I mean. I love her boy. You are right, but look like I've told you. My own project right now is rookie. And besides, you know we have other things that we need to, we need to talk about. Have you spoken with uh, the G Bobby? Oh, G Bobby. Yeah. I called him last night because, mm. you know, network is kind of bad. So I guess I'll call him again. No, call let's him. get back from the other beautiful enough. All my life I've been a good girl. What has it got on me? No husband, no job. All the guys asking me out are just on my speck. Hello, fine girl. Mr. Kong, I can die my name. And your name too. I'm a teacher. Don't worry, I can take care of you. Do you mind? Hello, fine girl, talk to me. Talk to me please. I can take care of you. I have what you take to take care of the baby. Talk to me, please. Hello, fine girl. Talk to me. I'm talking to you, my dear. Hi. So come. Because of love, you don't suffer. Even Brother Peter broke our engagement on my birthday and disappeared into thin air. What about Daffy? I don't need to talk about that one. Now it's about Jerry. I don't even understand him. He looks good, but I don't think he's a devoted Christian. Maybe I can change him. I can change him, but that's going to be a big risk. God, I need your help. God, please help me. I am concerned about Jerry's way of life. I pray it doesn't end up badly. Did you notice anything strange about him? Of course, yes. I heard him putting up a call to his friend, telling him that the white woman has paid. What does that imply? Uh, it's business now. What do you expect where there is no job? Even you. Can you listen to yourself? That is not an excuse. There are a lot of things one can do when his certificate fails. You can even learn a trade and be self-employed. But the problem with the children of these days is that they are looking for shortcuts to make it in life. And it doesn't work that way. Eh? And you are supporting him. Some time now, is he acting strange? What's the problem? Well, if you think there's a problem, so be it. I don't understand. This is not you, Jerry.
Hey, Sister Rookie. Hi, bro, Jerry. Uh, how are you doing? I'm fine. You look nice this day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I was thinking, is it okay if we see after your choir practice? Okay, all right. So after the choir practice, yeah? All right, so we're finishing by five minutes. Okay, no problem. You're welcome. was off to something. His recent attitude can tell he he's seen someone else. <laughs> Babe, you don't understand your package. I don't care if Jerry is seeing somebody or not. All I want is his money and I want it to continue flowing into my account. I don't care about who Jerry is seeing. Wait, you mean your feelings for Jerry is not real? What feelings? I don't love that guy. I don't. I'm all about Jerry's money. Do you understand? And I'm going to get enough of it. Enough of it. For real. Look, do you expect me to get married to a Yahoo guy? Do you? You want me to get married to a Yahoo guy? Can you use me for ritual tomorrow, Abby? No, no, babe. Yeah, okay. Jerry is a big time Yahoo guy. Big time. Wait, Jerry is a Yahoo guy. You said it now. Big time. Not just a small one, big one. Babe, you know what? I want to do some window shopping. You know that they pack it. Okay. <laughs> so, I'll see you later, yeah? Okay, let me fix my hair. No, while, like, no, while, like, later, later. Hello. Hi. Sorry I kept you waiting. Oh, it's okay. Do uh, you mind if I drop you off at home? Come on. Okay. All right. Come in. Thank you too. Sure. Bye. Yeah. See you later. Bye. Oh, thank you so much. 
Thank you. I'm grateful. <laughs> hey, imagine. Oh, my stuff will change on Sunday now. Hmm? Can imagine that. <laughs> I'm sure you're enjoying them. <laughs> of course, of course. Of course, I like them. Dad, you're not asleep yet. You also should be asleep too. Well, Dad, I'm just taking care of business. Jerry. Yes, Dad. That reminds me. What is the nature of your business? I overheard you the last time you visited. Over the phone saying the white woman has paid. I hope it's not what I'm thinking. What are you thinking, Dad? What are you thinking? Jerry. Dad. You can tell me the truth. I'm your father. Are you into internet fraud? Jerry. Now, what do you want? Would you please attend to our customer? Okay, Mommy. Hi, Brother Jerry. Uh, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank right. you. Oh, okay, thank you. How much? The usual, please. Uh, I don't have up to 5,000. It's okay, just. I have 3,5. Okay. You can keep the change. <laughs> thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Alright. Thank you. Um, he's a new member. He attends our church. He is good though. <laughs> okay. Was that why he was staring at you that way? Staring at me? Mom, how? There's something about that look. Mom! That reminds me. Reminds you of what? Of my first meeting with your dad. <laughs> Mom, it's not like that, Joe. This is not it. Let me drop you off. I already ordered for a taxi. What? Forget about your taxi. Come here. I'll be your driver today. <laughs> Come here.
front of my melody. You are all the mind. You are all the mind. Oh, I'll make room for two. You and I, Jesus. You are all the mind. You are all the mind. So, Sister Chica, you take the same one. World would I live for if I don't have you in my life? World would I be if you pray for me? World would I be come on me if I didn't see your life? World would I be sad of me if you didn't hold my hand? Now I've come to realize that you are all I have. You are all that matters. You are all that matters. How will you We need to all come in together. Oh, let's take it again. again. Let's take it again. One, two, three. Go. I'll put you in front. That's it. In front of my bed. You are all that matters. You are all that matters. Two times. I'll make room for two. You and I, Jesus. You are all that matters. You are all On, guys. So we we'll see you on Friday, 5 p.m. Final reels. <laughs> God has answered my prayers. Hey, what happened? You remember Brad Jerry? Jerry. Brad Jerry, the guy that's been stalking me now. Oh, the new member. Uh huh. Uh huh. What happened? He said he's interested in me. <laughs> rookie, rookie. What? God has answered my prayers It's now. okay, no problem. Direct him to the pastor now. Fast, fast, fast. Which pastor? Why do you like protocol like this? Sister Rookie. What? I think you have to be. Are you okay? I said someone is interested in me. You said that she should take him to the pastor. For what? Come on, come here. Let's be going, Joe. Okay. What are you doing here? I don't understand what's happening. What do you mean you don't understand? I mean, this is my house, so what are you doing here? Do I have to inform you before coming to your house? Oh yes, you have to. Just in case it's not clear to you. I'm through with you, okay? Because yes, you almost ruined my life. Because with you, it is either money this or money for that. I mean, you, you turned me into an ATM. Come a Mugu. You know what? I knew about your activities. I knew. Alright. So right now, my eyes are open. How are you two? Sure, why not? Alright, see you soon. Hi, 
you know what you look so beautiful but i've got something for you okay just just wait why don't you tune into this and tell me how you look come on uh, not that you don't look good okay it's just something to make you look different <laughs> huh? you okay all right so just go change i'll okay. be here okay. <laughs> yeah, now you look awesome. You look so great. Come on, turn around. Yeah. Turn around. No. Just okay, okay, all right, fine, fine, fine. Come, come. <laughs> Banana, I guess watermelon. Carrots. Carrots, yeah. exactly. Yeah, it's really nice. Rookie, will you be my wife? Just like that? Well, I'm tired of this, living a single life, Rookie. I, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Please. Did you marry me? Um... <laughs> okay, yes. Yes, <laughs> oh my god. No, not this. Not this one. Oh, this. I'm so nervous, I'm sorry. <laughs> You know what? This calls for a proper celebration. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Uh, when you say celebration, what do, what do you mean? Well, you know, white wine, red wine, champagne, I don't know, I whatever. Alcohol, I'm sorry. Come on, honey. What this is this? No, no, no. You want to celebrate properly. It's just a little. It's not going to hurt you. Hurt you, okay? Waiter! So, oh, please give me uh, two of the best of wines you've got, okay? okay so I just got engaged. Just a little. <laughs> just a little, honey. <laughs> Don't take Look, 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 look. I got you breakfast. Sorry, please. What am I doing here? Oh, well, you got so tipsy last night. I had to bring you here. I couldn't take you home. But, you know, so. Okay, um. Sorry, did, did, did we. Did we. What, did you mean, did we have sex? Did we make love? Huh? Did we jiggy jiggy? Uh, yeah, we did like three times last night. Oh my god! Oh my hey, god! Come on, I mean, you're my oh wife god. to be. Why don't touch me? Please don't touch me! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Slept in a man's house. Uh, uh, 
Priska's place. Priska! Priska was here yesterday. You only make yourself vulnerable. I know you can't wait to leave this house, but it has to be done decently. What's the meaning of this? Rookie, look at you. Oh, my name. to rookie finally and then I also serious I got it I was up what you can do oh yes now you know what I can do let's go ahead and have some more drinks Rukewe has been acting strangely lately Just realizing that. Huh? Let me ask you a question. When last did you interact or communicate with your daughter? She is now my daughter. That's all you have to say. That's not a question. You as a mother, when last did you go to church? When last did you leave prayers? When? You don't interact with your daughter. Your spiritual life is going down and it's not good. The duty of a mother does not end when you have a child. You have to follow up that child. You need to give your child close marking so that you will not lose her. You have to follow up with her. Ensure that her life is proper. Be a role model. The Bible is clear in Proverbs 22, 6. It says, train up a child in the way he should go, so that when he is old, he will not depart from it. Interact with your child or nothing. Richard, put the blame on me. I have failed. Just interact with your child. Thank you. Oh, good. Okay. Hmm? Are you sure of what you are doing? Starting a relationship without your pastor being carried along. Your pastor, your parents. Ah, ah, rookie, think about it now. It's not nice. Things are not done like that, Rookie. I don't understand. Rookie, all I'm saying is that I told you to meet the pastor. You don't meet him. Ah, Rookie. Tell me, Rookie, you're being too desperate. Who is being really? desperate? You are! For what? How? Think about How do you mean? it. Think about what? When Jerry came for you first, you're supposed to direct him straight to the pastor. I should because he's, he's the pastor that will marry him. Abby, look, you know all these things. You're you just know being all these things like what? What do you mean, Abby? You're just Stop being sounding like that. Are you jealous? Jealous of what? Of, of course, of what I just told you. Stop sounding like that, please. Okay, please. You know it's not jealousy. So stop sounding that way, please. Please stop sounding that way, Abby. Hmm. Okay, I've told you. You're supposed to be happy for I me. Am... I thought telling you this thing you'd be happy. Why are you even sounding like this? Please, I'm just so disappointed with you. I didn't expect this.
was this? An engagement ring? Mo, well, I've been meaning to tell you, but you've been too busy. Rookie, busy? Busy doing what? We can't talk about your engagement? What an error? Rookie, where? Mo, look, I'm an adult. Adult? Look at her. Adult? Under the same roof. We cannot talk about your private life with me as a mother. Okay, when? when? When did you start this? It's an error. Where? How? When? Ah! I'm surprised. When I told you your daughter was acting strange, you blamed it all on me. Have you seen the ring on her finger? What do you mean? Your daughter is engaged to a total stranger. And whose fault is that? Yes, of course. Because you have refused to bond with your daughter all this time. You think when I was talking about it, it was just a joke? That's why you barely know anything about her. You should monitor her closely, that's what I think. So, my angel, who is this young man? I met him a couple of months ago. He attends our church. Mm -hmm. Okay. He attends your church is good. But you know that before you come to this extent, you must consult your parents and your pastor. At least, uh, as your spiritual father, you get some proper guardians. Huh? That's what you need to do. So, what is his name? His name is Jerry. I'll invite him over to the house. Okay. <laughs> I'll wait. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> the way he was staring at you, I knew something was up. But watch it. I don't want another heartbreak for you. Please. Woman, oh, what is wrong with you? Why are you like this? Would you just allow me to talk with my daughter privately? You always want to play the good father. Even when it's not necessary. There you go again. Right? Don't you know that your daughter is now an adult? She's no longer a child. She's an adult now. She deserves some respect. Thank you, Daddy. What's all this? I believe you're a rookie, the almighty choir leader, and a boyfriend snatcher. I beg your pardon? Ask your lover who Voke is. Hmm? Meanwhile, I'm sure you don't know that your lover is a Yahoo guy. He doesn't have a decent job, my dear. He's a scam. Forget that ring on your hand. I have money. Hmm? You are his next victim. Okay? Yeah, leave. Madam, please leave. Go already. <laughs> okay. How dare you talk to a customer in that manner? Do you want to show down this place? Show down which place, Mom? Do you, that's the problem I have Don't with you. You know you have to relate with our customers. Well, did you bother to ask what she did or what she said? Let me see what her That's the problem I have with you. Eh? Wants to hear my okay, how dare you, you talk to you. me like that? Rookie, where have you been? For three Sundays, you have not been in church. You don't even pick your calls. What exactly is the problem? I see great turbulence ahead. You are able to dance spiritual. Rookie, I can even see a ring on your finger. Without the knowledge of the authority of the church? Do you remember what 1 Corinthians 10 verse 12 says? Say, let him that ticket his out. Take heed, listen, for. She'll also remind you what 1 Peter 5 verse 8 says. Say, be sober, be vigilant. 
But a vast with the devil is like a roaring lion. Who walketh about looking for whom to devour? Rookie, it's time to retrace your steps before it is too late. So that the devil will not take advantage of you. So this is how you go about sending your family to strangers in the name of sister? Let me ask you, what did she tell you about her own family? You must understand that life is personal to an extent. You don't go around sharing your children's successes and escapades with people because you never know what is in their hearts. Even my sister, please, 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 please. Your family is bad. Don't generalize. That's not what you are saying. Please. You're always speaking on that. It is with your own mouth that you are going to expose or protect your family. But the Bible is very clear about that in uh, Proverbs 13 3. He who keepeth his mouth keepeth his life. But he who exposes his lips exposes his life and brings destruction to him. Cut your mouth jealously. Huh. It just lacks spiritual wisdom. I lack wisdom. And I have lived with you all this while. You don't have a choice. You can't get any other man like me, handsome and intelligent. Mm. Oh, anyway, see, look at my cross, I will carry you. Who is that? Come in. Come here, leave. Get out. Please leave. Rukewe, what just happened? What is eating you up? Rukewe, I'm asking you. Oname, let her be. When she's ready to share, she will tell us. Mm -hmm. Joy will know no bounds. It's okay, my son. Don't worry. I'll help you to talk to her. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, come, mommy. Meet me the love of my life. Rookie, Rookie, that's my mom. Oh, that's you, ma. You are my baby. You are welcome. Thank it's you, such an angel. Yeah. You are welcome. Ma. Thank you, ma. Do this, boy. <laughs> welcome, my dear. Thank you, ma. Make yourself comfortable. I'll be right back. Okay, there. ma. Thank you, mommy. Thank you, ma. <laughs> Wait, who is Roque? Oh, so because of that, you're giving me this kind of attitude? 
Let me tell you something. You see that girl? She's a scammer. And she's gone out of my life for good. I I've loved you ever since I set my eyes and on you. And your business? Well, my business, I... I, uh, you see, my kind it's of It's fine, business. I understand. <laughs> my dad and I will be coming to pay your parents a visit tomorrow. Okay? I'm pregnant. You see? You're pregnant! Oh my God! Yes! Come, come, come. I need to see this. Come on, stand up. Stand up. I mean, look at you. Oh, I'm good to be a dad. I mean, no, just do it gently. Mom! Mom! God, yes. Mommy, you look at good news. Mom, I'm going to be a dad. Oh, my God. She's pregnant. Hey, my dear. You're welcome. Hey, congratulations. Oh, my grandmother. Jerry, uh, honey, father. Why, why don't you just oh, my darling. You're welcome. Sit gently. You really sorry, love sorry. Her. Get you water to drink, okay? Mom, she needs water. Water! <laughs> You're welcome. Thank You're you. welcome. You're welcome to our family. <clears throat> um, thank you so much for letting us in. Actually, my son and I have come to apologize for the mistake of the past. Honestly, I am sorry for what happened. And uh, having asked my son, he's in love with your daughter. And he, we have come to declare his intention to take her as a wife. Um, once again, I welcome you to my home. I must tell you that I was really disappointed at your son's irresponsible behavior. When my daughter is not left out of it, uh, to consenting adults, yes, but there are ways of doing things. If he's in love with my daughter and wants to marry, he should have done things properly. However, I'll put that in the past because you have come yourself with him to apologize. I will say that your apology is uh, well received. Take care. Thank you so much. Concerning wanting to take my daughter as wife, I'm not the one he's going to marry. Uh, I will have to call my daughter. Uh, because our people usually say that if you do not eat yam because of the oil, you will leak oil because of the yam. Mm -hmm. So I'll call my daughter, let her say whether we should continue or not. Look um, away. Come. Do you know the young man? Yes, daddy. He's the one responsible for this condition. Well, he has come with his father to apologize for the irresponsibility and uh, to ask for your hand in marriage. He says he wants to marry you. So I told them to wait. You are supposed to tell us whether we should accept or not. We give them the list. Then from there we can take it. So, should we give them the list? You are in love with him too? Well, she has said yes, you heard it yourself. So, um, you will give us some time so that I can talk to my kinsmen and then her mother, and then we can raise the list for you. And then uh, from there, we'll give you a date, and then we'll take it from there. It's okay, uh, that's tradition. Well, so now I can actually offer you drink because there are no answers. Um, who is there? I hope you included the money for the two bars of yam in your calculation. Good. Good. Um, that reminds me. I think we need to pay a visit to your uncle Maxwell 
as an aider to breathing of our plants. Dad. Dad, paying a visit to Uncle Maxwell won't be possible because I'm really, really busy. Says, can't you just put a call through to him and, and tell him everything? It's okay, my son. We can call him on phone. Yeah, you can call him. Jerry. Yes, Dad. Even you, Stella. I don't know why you children of nowadays take tradition for granted. What has come over you, Jerry? You want to put up a call to an elder? What has come over you? Eh? Even you, Stella. Our daughter has agreed to marry Jerry Ogaga. E God to bless your union with male children Amen. and female children. Amen. Let it be filled with love, Amen. unity, and togetherness. Amen. Uh, no weapon fashioned against you will prosper. Amen. You will live together happily and bereft. Uh, and your children will have children, children that will train you. Amen. <laughs> In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank uh -huh. 
<laughs> I just remember the time of our Kazuko. Uh, uh, there you go. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Mm -hmm. And the swimmer sweet. Ah, I tell you, you know what makes me enjoy this house more now because I'm no longer alone. I'm here with my wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 Congratulations, man. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Welcome Cheers. to the family hood. <laughs> you can see that again, bro. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm so happy for you guys. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Thank That's you. nice, wife. Nice. Maybe by next week, yeah. I would uh, be taking the yard. Oh, oh, my oh, darling. Yeah. I don't know what happens. Do. <laughs> I don't know what you can do. Yeah. <laughs> so, why did I just leave church like that? Mm -hmm. What a shame. Oh. Open an angelic voice. Oh. Now, wow. I guess she's pregnant. You don't mean it. I guess that's why she left like that. Mm. Mm. Imagine choir leader. Thank God, God has exposed her. At least make my God touch our hands. <laughs> From all you have said, you both are equally guilty. There is no love in your hearts, I can see. Remember, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 12 says, Let him that thinks he stands take heed. You don't to rejoice or laugh at the fall of your sister because it can be you. What do you expect? Your phone door. has been off since. Look, honey, I would rather have us go back for a honeymoon. I don't want anyone disturbing us, you know? Pick your call. I don't want to pick your call. Pick your call. What is wrong with me? Okay, look, I've picked it up. Oh, yeah, answer. Answer it now. Okay, okay. Hello? Good. Uh -uh. Doctor, yes, please. Talk to me. Calm down, Mr. Jerry. I'm calm, please. Can you please tell me what exactly happened to her? Well, she. Uh, she. Uh... I'm sorry. All will be fine. May imagine my husband abandoning me at the hospital. Marriage comes with a lot of surprises. Both good 
and bad. Fortunately for me, your dad is a God-fearing man. That was why I got it wrong. Mom, I was stupid. I never knew the man I got married to. I, 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 I didn't know he was eager to get married. I didn't know him so well. That is why in choosing a life partner, God has to be involved. Your parents, your spiritual parents, all have to be involved. Sorry, my dear. I was never that for you. I failed in my responsibility. I'm so sorry, dear. Mom, he called me bad luck. I don't think I want to carry on with this marriage. Wow. You are not a bad luck, my dear. <laughs> Look at you. Just gaining admission into this institution. And you want to back out. God forbid. Marriage is for better, for worse. It's just a face. It will pass, my dear. Just be prayerful. <laughs> Mom, I want to leave this space. I, I want to come home. I need space just for you. Well. There is no space for you in my house. You need to stay put in your marriage. There is no backing out. This is the time you need to take that which the enemy has taken from you. You need to pray for your husband. You need to stand by him. He needs you more than ever before. You need God now. We have been failing, but now we need to arise to the task. We now know that the devil is at work. We have to stand. All will be well, my dear. Has finished this. There's no gas in the house. I was trying to make breakfast. I don't know what to do. You don't know what to do. We're our parents. Were they not cooking? Was our mothers not cooking for our fathers in those days? Eh? Before the invention of gas. No, were they not? My friend, will you go down and go and look for sticks to pack together and, and help yourself? Wait, why are you always angry? What do you mean by why am I always angry? Why are you always angry with me? Why has my life turned upside down since you came into my life? Why? Isn't it obvious? It's been from one problem to the other. My life has turned upside down. Oh yes! Oh look at you, you, you are a perfect example of the messenger of the devil, even the devil herself! Oh yes! I got into this church to look for a good wife. But unfortunately, unfortunately, I got myself entangled with you. It spilled from one miscarriage to the other. From one miscarriage to the other. Yes! Who is the devil? You are the devil! Me? Yes! I fell for your charm! You lazy, idiot, what? useless man! If I, if I, if I, I fell for your charm! Don't if I, if I, don't watch me, watch me! My friend, I just don't know how to thank you. Thank you so much. You say I'm grateful, eh? Ah, no, 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 no. Okay. I just don't know how to show my gratitude. Thank you so much. Ah, ah. See all these things. Ah. It's okay. Thank you. You are truly a friend. Oh, thanks to God. It's okay. My dear, it has not been easy for my husband and I. You know. My husband has completely changed. Like he shouts at me at every slightest provocation. Every tiny thing I do, he shouts. It's like something strange. I, I don't know, I don't know. Nikki, I think part of your problem is because you just sit at home doing nothing. Hmm? Find a job, even if it's not your dream job. Just to take your mind off offenses. My husband doesn't want me to walk. He has refused me walking. So what do I do? 
It's like something, something strange is happening. I, I don't, I don't understand. He doesn't want me to talk. Well, I think he's frustrated. Yes, I mean, considering his present situation. Thank God my husband made some investment. If not, we would have been in the same situation. It is always good to plan ahead. Well, I just think God is punishing me over something I've done in the past. Because I don't know. You don't have to say that. That's what I think, honestly. Because what is all this? I said it. You only just go back and you're now you're in front of your computer. What are you doing in front of your laptop? What does it look like I'm doing? No, no, does it look like I'm playing being with my laptop? I mean, what kind of nonsense talk is that? Look, is it a crime to have one moment of peace in this house? What kind of peace will you have? Now, what kind of peace do you want to have? Why you keep ignoring your responsibilities? My life has been on a downward spiral ever since you came into my life, okay? Ever since I came into your life, are you serious? Yes! When your friend was investing, what were you doing? One more word from your mouth about my friend, I will, I, will, I will mess you up right now. You will mess me up. Are you what? stupid? Okay. You, you, you cannot. You, 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 you. Are you So thank you for coming. I know I've really fumbled because I allowed the devil a space in my life. And my life has been meaningless without God. I prayed and I vowed to God that if he takes me out of this situation, I'll forever serve him. I'll forever be grateful to him that he remembered me today. On the way I left the church. No, 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 daughter of Zion, please don't do that. Wipe away your tears. Daughter of Zion, please stand up. I did not remember you. It is God that has remembered you. Because your hour of restoration has come. That's why I came to encourage you. Very soon, your tears will be over. I want to assure you that in the next one month, you will surely testify. Amen. This prayer is for you and your husband. I don't know where he is. This prayer at this hour is very important. There is nothing too hard for God to do. Let us pray. Oh, wonderful. God has come to visit you for restoration. And this prayer is very important. I was just telling your wife. Please come and join us in this prayer. Life will be meaningless without you without you life will be meaningless the bible says it two shall agree on a touching issue and it shall be established for them i want to assure you today by the mandate of heaven that as you agree in this prayer, in the next one month, you will surely testify. In the mighty name of Jesus, faithful and everlasting God, Jesus Christ, I will worship you for who you are. Thank you all for your salvation. Thank you for your unconditional love to us, my God. Lord, I know I have this love. Lord, I bring my daughter with me. I speak deliverance to the foundation of the marriage in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that Lord you raise up standard against every forces against my family in the mighty name of Jesus. All of heavenly armor belong to the Lord. That it belongs to the Lord. No weapon of fashion against us shall stand. 
I just had a terrible dream. I had a terrible dream. Let's yes. put you on our hands. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray against every activity of, of the devil. Against his family, baby. Let's pray. Let's come against. Let's come against every principle and power. So Sick in the shrine of Omote. My heart is bitter. My sister always gets all the good things of life. Her marriage is intact. Why I have married three husbands to no avail. The worst of it all is that our only daughter is married. Why my three daughters that are older are still roaming around the streets? You needed to see how she carried herself on her daughter's marriage. That girl in question has been on our neck. She's a member of the choir. Whenever she ministers, she liberates our victims. Now she's in our net. We are at war with every choir department in every church because they make things happen. We program strife, envy, rivalry, lust, discord among them to hinder them. What do you want a queen mother to do to her? I don't want that marriage to succeed. That marriage must not work. Her mother had only her, but I don't want her to carry a child. I want discord between her and her husband. Presently, she's carrying a seed she got outside wedlock, and by that, the edge has been broken. The angel assigned to her has been redrawn, and by that, we can deal with her. The problem will start with that seed. Amole, please forgive me. It was all envy. So say that I trusted you with my life. I never knew I was telling my family to So you were penetrating my family through me. Ah, why? Why? Uh. You see, this is what I've always told you. Trust no one. Doctor! Nurse! Alice?
tell you. Oh yes, indeed he is. Look, if not for God, I tell you, everything would have been upside down. But for God's intervention, ha, my family has been revived. I tell you, man. You can say that again. Oh yeah. Like, seriously, I see a lot of couples fighting each other. So it is manipulation from their foundation. I guess we need God. Yes. Oh yes. We do oh, need God. We do. We do. Yeah. Oh, you know, yes. my wife and I, we are going to do exactly what you did with your wife. Oh yes. Oh. Maybe you can say that again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, guys, guys, I, I forgot to tell you. Oh. I just got a job with the United Nations. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah. I'm very happy. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Thank you. Oh, really? I just the email. They were like. To check your email and now we're going to do it. God did it! Oh my god! Yes, yes, yes. Oh, 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 yes, Jerry, to tell us why he's thanking God. Put your hands together for him. Somebody pray the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To say the truth, I actually came to this church to look for a wife. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, when God decided to arrest me, he did. Uh, he made sure that through the mess he put me through, he made sure that we had a message. And he has also given to us this bundle of joy. <laughs> that is why we are here to say thank you to our Almighty God. <laughs> In addition to this offering, 
we brought to the church, we pledged that we will renovate the entire building. <laughs> So, Dad, you mean to tell me that my uncle Maxwell has a hand in my misfortune? Yes, he confessed before he died and vowed to make life miserable for you. What is my offense, Dad? What did I do to him? Well, he said that you did not accord him with respect during your traditional marriage. You did not come to him properly to inform him about your marriage. You only put up court. God. That you made money and did not remember him. To think that my problem is for my wife's family. Not knowing that my uncle also had a hand in it. This is combined force attack on my marriage. But I thank God that. And also the prayers between my wife and I. I mean, who would have been able to overcome these trials? Yes, son. Um, you see, if I had known God early enough, life would have been much easier for me. But thank God, your eyes are open now. Thank God, Dad. You are now a man. Yes, Dad. That's my son. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy now. Grace. grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now for our now. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. And the saints of God say, Amen. Amen. <laughs> well, uh, before we leave to our various homes, uh, leaving you in your new home, because now you have your new home, I would like to admonish you. Um, marriage is the oldest and most fulfilling institution made by God. The Bible says in Genesis 2.18 that it is not good for man to be alone. And that's why God decided, I will make a help made for him. At no time should we ever hear that you are alone. Because now you have a help made for you. <laughs> no matter what you encounter, you have to be united in prayer and in love. Because the Bible also says that one will chase a thousand and two will chase ten thousand. So both of you, no matter the storms that come to you in life, you have to be united and fight it. There's none that will stand before you. Once you are united in prayer and in love. Will the devil bring the storms against you? Yes, they will come. Just like the kind of experience you had. Once you are united, that kind of experience cannot stand. It will melt away. Okay? So I admonish you to stay together always. Like we said, a family that uh, prays together, together stays together. together. So be together in unity. And God will lead you. Amen. Amen. Um, <laughs> my in-law, you are right. At the early stage of our marriage, it was very tough to make the matter worse. I was in the habit of taking every matter between us to the elders in my village. I never knew one of them was even interested in my wife. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> one thing that has helped us is that no matter the issue, my husband has a way of turning everything into comedy <laughs> and we laugh. It works. <laughs> uh, marriage, I must testify, is a beautiful thing. 
no matter the hurdles. It comes with great honor. That is, if you can stand the challenges. You have to be ready emotionally, physically, financially, and spiritually. Marriage is not for boys and girls, so what do I mean? A man that cannot settle his marital issues indoors is a boy. Yo. And a woman that takes herself outside is a girl. Do you hear me? I hope you are listening. <laughs> wow. Thank you very much. Uh, we really appreciate. This is indeed a lifelong marital lecture. <laughs> we are grateful. <laughs> yes. Unfortunately, I learned the, the hard way. In a bitter way. And in all things, we should ask God first before we embark on any journey. Mm. That I'll learn. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Well, it's okay. We'll leave you to start your practical lesson. That's it. <laughs> <laughs>